In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to begin the process of creating a digital scrapbook layout in Photoshop Element 6.0. I have a couple of photos on my computer that I want to use to create a scrapbook page. So the first thing I need to do is open these JPEG files into Photoshop Elements. There are a couple of different ways to do this. First, if you are already in a folder on your computer where the picture is located, you can right click on the photo that you want to use and choose open with Adobe Photoshop Elements 6.0 and it will open into your software. If the software is not already open on your computer, Photoshop Elements will open and then the photo will open inside of it. Another way to open your pictures into Photoshop Elements is to actually open them from within the software itself. You can do this by choosing File, Open, going to the folder on your computer where the photographs that you want to use are located and choosing that photograph. You can choose a single photograph or you can choose multiple files within a, the same folder by holding down the control key and choosing whichever files you want and then you click open and they will open in your software. Once your photos are open you can make any adjustments to them that you want to I've already tweaked these photos a little bit. That process is a tutorial for another day. From here, the next step is to open a new blank document or to find and open a layered template, which comes in the form of a .psd or Photoshop file format. You can certainly design and create your own scrapbook page from scratch, but layered templates are a great option for saving time, perfect for beginning scrapbookers because a lot of the design work is already done for you. To open a blank document, you would go to File, New, Blank File. The screen that pops up gives you the option to name your file, although I never do this until the first time that I save the project that I'm working on. On the screen, you can also choose the size of the canvas that you want to use. There are some options here, but the most common sizes for digital scrapbook pages are 12 inches by 12 inches or 8.5 by 11. I like to use 12 by 12. The best resolution for printing a digital scrapbook page is 300 dpi or dots per inch or pixels per inch. So that's what I choose. And I don't change any of the other settings on this screen. When you click OK, here is what you see. As you can see on my screen, there are rulers along the top and the side of my workspace. These, if these rulers do not appear on your software and you want them to, you can go to the View menu and choose Rulers, and it will turn them on or turn them off. From this menu, you can also choose to uh, show a grid which can be useful at times, but I don't like to have it on um, during the process of digital scrapbooking for the most part because I find that it can be distracting. With this blank canvas, you can certainly begin designing your page from here, but instead of doing this, because it can seem overwhelming to have a blank canvas and have to create something, we are going to close it, and in the next video, we are going to open a layered template and start working from there.